up welcome back to another video of red empire gaming and today it's going to be a cycle slash hawk tutorial on how to beat beat down decks so this is the deck here that i use is a 3.4 hawk cycle deck and this is what i used to be the golem so i'm going to show you and explain why i drop that how to drop it so it had like two very important things you must know when you're facing any beat down deck and one night is fair to push applying pressure and placement when you're defending true placement true placement and applying pressure is the two most important thing you must learn how once you know that you can beat any beat down deck so in today's video i'm gonna show you how to beat the goal on beat down and hopefully in the next video i will show you how to beat hong so it's the same but it have a few differences so in this video i'll explain how to beat golem in the next video i'll get to the difference what you have to do and beaten the hong so let me jump into the replay again and try to explain it as best as i can and hopefully i'll ever learn especially new players who enter clash royale and playing cycle legs now this is not only a tutorial for hog because other cycle legs must have a character kill tank so there's a mini packer a character cycle a character pull so once it's a cycle leg you can apply this to the deck so let me say for example you have inferno tower that will come and place any mini packer and so on so let me jump into the replay all right so this is the replay here so remember when you know starting how much you will know what your opponent playing but you must always try to read the opponent's card so whatever you see try and figure out what deck you're playing again so that will give you an advantage in the early stage so let me play okay so normally with this starting on i can just well with hoi i can just send out hoi just so no protection so that is exactly what i did and I was just waiting to see what he would play and he didn't play anything so I just followed up with Archer so when I see the baby dragon and mini pecker first thing I was thinking was Hong it maybe could be a Hong deck so I drop Archer to support the Hog and I drop mini and I drop Musketeer and that placement that placement is a is a very good placement for that push or cover you will see what happened that will actually pull the mini pecker to the musketeer a while the time the musketeer can take out the mini pecker the baby dragon should lock on to the tower because you don't want to want the mini pecker and the baby dragon to lock on to the musketeer but i think i take it out and just and i can get shots on your tower I also log to help it out. Now the musketeer and up walk forward. So I drop the musketeer a little too early. But that is alright. So here we're just waiting. So when I see wizard, I didn't have, I'm not sure now what deck I'm playing against. So I decided to fireball because I use value. And Okay, so now I see Golem, so this is where pressure in is very important, right? If you don't pressure, you will allow your opponent to just build up a big push behind, which you cannot stop. So this is why pressure in is important. So get them to split, split push, so it will be one big attack or one so strong attack coming that will just take your tower and you can't stop it. So as you can see, our eyes go long, hog, and he and he waste four elixir. So when that can be four elixir in the back, he go long to make it an even stronger push. So I drop a mini pack in the back. Wait a second, I work on the go long, and I will and I will drop. Okay, so here I actually drop a musket here to try and take out the baby dragon, right? So what you have to do with a go long deck is try and take all the support and troops first so that was a misplay on my part 
so I could even so but Golam does do so much more damage so at least drop like say I have guards or lumberjack I drop that on the Golam and the rest of the troops in the back I want to pull it away from the back of the Golam and try and take it out as fast as possible so here I drop archers in the middle to go hit the Golam and take out the fire because I don't want to take too much more damage on my tower so as you could see the musket actually take out the baby drag when the Golam boss so that was good now here I know he low on elixir and he now waste mini pekka on that side so I hog now I will take some damage from the mini pekka here but that is ok because at tower for one that the mini pekka was not bad now here it's always good when you're facing golem for you to try and do let them just take out tower don't ever give away a tower even if your tower have 400 health 600 health always defend it make them waste that extra elixir if it's a lightning spell fireball rocket make them waste that elixir on the tower so you could have the advantage elixir advantage and as soon as them lightning fireball rocket you push the tower we have to take down hard go real strong so that's why i drop an electroverse to defend the inferno track so here i will just use archers to pull as i can see i defend the tower so when he go along here i will rush with the archers i just go along in the middle or at the end and i should do damage as you can see he's used with that five so that is five elixir less from the golem push and actually fireball the wizard again because I value unlock to take it out and do tower damage yeah on the next side I drop electro wiz because I don't like to take out the mini pecker the other mini pecker to at least take out the golem so I was not going to allow the inferno dragon to just take out the mini pecker I also drop ice golem to try and protect the 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 electrovers from the valk but the he and i would drop the valk good he drop the valk in the back but as i could see the uh, do what i wanted the mini pack i take out the golem and i take not plenty of damage so he have fireball that stuff i have faster clean up and i will hook and i log right so i log on defense just to do take that damage and that was a good game so you can see this uh, the versus this it was placement placement was key especially if he had lumberjack yes uh, you have to drop your lumberjack i mean you have, if you have golem coming down the bridge and you have a lumberjack and prince in the back what you have to do is drop your eyes golem in the middle to pull the boat drop your musket on the center to take out that first here though I am asking to lock on the golem so that is the main thing on how to fight a big golem always take out the supporting troops first if you're playing a cycle deck try and apply pressure always apply pressure but have enough elixir for you to defend and that is it that is all you have to do so that is the two main thing remember that practice it learn it take a get better so now when you guys see a golem deck you could always beat it so if you enjoyed the video remember to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and also if you need any help with any other decks any other cycle decks how to play it better if you're still getting trouble with golem or any other decks Keep a comment down below, I will try my best to help all you. I might even make a video on how to beat a certain deck with your deck. So yeah, that is it. Thanks for watching.